Hello everyone, welcome to another question and answer thing. Um, I tend to do these uh, pretty much as soon as I see as, as many questions as, you know, would be in a video of, I don't know, 10 minutes-ish. And um, this last video actually got quite a lot of replies, so I guess I can do one a bit earlier than I usually would, but um, let's see. The first two comments are pretty good. The first one says Shane is awesome, and I kind of agree with that. Uh, and someone else agrees, and I agree here. Um, and and someone else says Shane, you're awesome. So I mean, guys, come on. <laughs> no, but seriously. But seriously. Um, first one is M D J two thousand ten. I'm actually saying people's names again. Um, he says what? Question mark, exclamation mark, over and over again. You're a massive wrestling fan, so am I. Starting to like your channel even more and more. I was at SummerSlam at Wembley, and I've carried on following since the late 1980s. That's fucking insane, as far as wrestling goes. That, I, I would pay to go back in time and see that. It's probably the biggest crowd for a wrestling event ever. And it was in England. Anyway, he asks, uh, do you watch anything other than WWE? I watch TNA Wrestling. Which, uh, honestly, I don't like saying it's good because it makes me sound like a hipster and sounds makes me sound like I don't know what I'm talking about and that I'm one of those guys who just hates on WWE. But honestly, it's really good lately. Um, but they have burned me before, so I'm a bit like touch and go with that. All right, I'm Fades Thirty Two asks, Hey Shane, you ever taken drugs? Alcohol and caffeine don't count. No. Uh, and not because I have a real problem with it. In fact, I don't have a problem with anyone taking anything, um, so long as it doesn't affect uh, other people. And it doesn't, I don't know, people can wreck their lives if they want, you know, that's their problem. If they start affecting others, that's when I have a problem. Um, but no, I've just, I've just never got around it, I guess. I've just never been in the position where someone has been like, hey, take this, or, you, you know, it's just not something I've ever been around. Um, you know, I hang out with pretty normal guys, you know, not people who uh, go crazy with the partying and shit. So I just, I just hung around to it. I'm not saying I never would. I'm not saying I'm, like, I'm not totally like, oh my god, I really need to do them. I'm not like, you know, oh my god, I fucking, bruh, I don't like them. But I just, I'm just, I'm just like, <laughs> okay. Um... Scholastic War, <laughs> I'm, I'm so getting these wrong, uh, asks, what's your idea of the perfect day? Wow. I mean, that's just, I mean, perfect day if I could have everything I ever wanted. Hmm. 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 I don't know. Um, I guess waking up, being Batman, and uh, walking around, around Wayne Manor. Aaron could be Alfred. Uh, and he could he could be like my butler, and then I could go in the back cave, and I could go fight crime. I guess. Well, no, I'd do that at night. So the day I'd be like, no, I'd go partying during the no, because you party during the night. Maybe I'll party half of the no, half of the night, and then crime fight the other half of the night. It's a perfect day, twenty four hours. Because if I only get the day, then I don't get to be Batman really. In fact, Bruce Wayne must have a he must sleep during the day. He must not do anything during the day. Because it would be a boring time for Batman, Bruce Wayne. Why am I talking about Batman? Uh, Ghost of Delta asks, Who's your favourite wrestler? Kelly Kelly. <laughs> oh dear. Only wrestling fans would get that. And the the person above it asks it as well. Favourite wrestler. Um, that's, that's, that's like saying to someone, What's your favourite movie? That's like saying to someone, uh, what's your favourite food? If they really like food. I, I really, I really like wrestling. Um, but as far as favourite wrestler, I'd, I'd have to say Kurt Angle. I mean, the guy's... He works well as a good guy, a bad guy. He's one of the best wrestlers I've ever seen. Uh, he's really charismatic. He gets the crowd behind him. And, and, the guy won an Olympic gold medal in wrestling. I mean, 
he's a real wrestler. He he knows how to wrestle. I mean, and he looks legit badass. You wouldn't want to like get into a fight with him. Um, but yeah, all right. That's enough about wrestling for the non-wrestling peoples. What's one of your hidden talents by the gamer's fate? I don't think I've got any talents as such. Um, I'm pretty good with a deck of cards. Um, like Aaron's always saying to me, Shane, have you been have you have you been doing that thing with the cards? Because I can hear you doing it because I, yeah, I've always got a deck of cards in front of me. My hands, if they're not on the keyboard, they're they're using this. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess card trick kind of things. I'm not really that good, but I've gotten kind of good at one thing. Um, but other than that, I I just I'm generally good at everything I do, but I'm not amazing at anything. Jack of all trades, I guess. <laughs> um, Hugo Trito. You comment on all my videos. Uh, what's your favorite franchise? I'll try to guess. Is it Final Fantasy? Um, favorite franchise? I mean, it's like a series of games. Final Fantasy are pretty good. Although, since 12, it's not been going very well. Uh, yeah, I guess it is Final Fantasy. I was trying to think of something else, but... No, I can't... No, I guess it is Final Fantasy. Wow. Um, the game is a fa says... I agree that Piccolo is epic, Batman is the shiz, Shane, you are awesome. I mean, poof, poof. Um, <laughs> it's got the most thumbs up. Would you ever kick Yami Mash out of your house? It completely depends. Um, it's, it's a no, but I don't know. If I got like a, the only thing I would ever kick him out for is if I got a girlfriend and he stole her off me and, and he had sex in my bed with her. In fact, I wouldn't kick him out, I'd actually kill him. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I'd do that to anyone. Um, <laughs> can you make Yami another pizza, if you know what I mean? Um, made him one yesterday. We had half each. Um, I love me some original Digimon. Still not any better than Pokemon. Skeptical there. Also, Piccolo beat people? I wasn't aware slash can't remember. Uh, did Piccolo actually beat anyone? He beat up Frieza for a while. Uh, he beat up Android 17 for a while. Um, he died to Nappa. <laughs> Holy shit, he didn't beat anyone, did he? <laughs> oh god, Piccolo's so shit. Uh, he, he, he beat people in Dragon Ball. But that wasn't Piccolo. That wasn't that wasn't actually the Piccolo because that was his dad, uh, Demon King Piccolo. P Piccolo the Junior, Piccolo Junior, the one who's in Dragon Ball Z. He came back for the tournament. He beat Tien in like the semi-finals of a tournament, <laughs> and then he got beat by Goku. I never won a fight ever again. <laughs> he won two hundred and eighty odd episodes and didn't win a fight. Just fucking lovely. There we go, my, my, my favourite character has just been, like, it's over. Uh, Quinn the Beast asks, who's your favourite actress and why? That's a ugly question. Uh, because I don't really see the difference between an actor and an actress, you know? It's, uh, uh I don't know, I just don't see them differently. But I guess for, I mean, I, if, if I look at my f top ten ac actors, you know, and that includes women as well, you know. In fact, I'm, I'm quite sure they don't like being called actresses. I think they like being called actors. Anyway, my top ten would be men, just because, I don't know, there's something charismatic or something about them. I like, would be Morgan Freeman, Samuel Jackson, people like uh, Robert De Niro and Joe Pishy and, um I can't think of any woman that's that really stands out, catches my eye. So, it's not that women are bad, I guess it's just... I don't know. I, I... I just can't see women as being cool, like Robert De Niro. They're always sexy, and... Either... In fact, this is a problem with women in movies. They're either really, really, um, strong, or they're the damsel in distress. And it, usually you don't get in the middle of that. 
and and sometimes in a lot of movies you'll have um, a woman being really strong, you know, <clears throat> um, and then as soon as something bad happens, they turn into the oh I can't defend myself. Oh shit! I need Batman to come and say. That, that's where my problem comes from. Uh, that woman in the Dark Knight, the first. Well, the second movie in that series. The one with the Joker. And she was kind of, like, acting all strong and shit. But when shit goes down, she's like, Oh, no, help me! Anyway, that's that's my problem with what's it, Maggie, Man, uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal, isn't it? Or Gyllenhaal. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Um, either way. I kind of went off topic on that one, didn't I? <laughs> but yeah, I just like, don't think I could name an actress there. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh... PCXP Money asks, are you going to play any console games with Aaron? Not really. I mean, I, if, if it's a game that we'll, I can play with him that we want to play, I'll play it. I mean, the, if it's on a console or not is kind of irrelevant. And nothing console really it's kind of come up, so I guess PC gaming is the best. Um, <laughs> Jono Zulu. Ask, uh, says, do the Elite Four when you're hammered? No, I'm, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna stream that though. Uh, I think I'm gonna stream the whole Elite Four, or the training to get to the Elite Four and then the Elite Four. Um, which is better and why? Call of Duty or Super pa uh, Super Paper Mario? I've never played Super Paper Mario and I've never played Call of Duty in my life. Uh, I don't like the look of Call of Duty, and I like Mario. <laughs> I guess, Super Paper Mario. Uh, tell Aaron I said happy early birthday. I can't shout at him right now. It's early morning. <laughs> but I will. Well, I probably won't. I'll forget. But, you know. Uh, which world would you rather be in? Bleach or Dragon Ball Z? Is this actually a question? Alright, it goes on. Yes, in Bleach world you get bonky and everything. And in the DBZ world you have to choose what you want to be. Is this even a question? I... I'll take the Dragon Ball Z world. What's this bleach you speak of? What the fuck? That's not even a question. <laughs> Seriously, you ask a billion people that they see Dragon Ball Z in a second. Don't want to go fly. Um, uh, Safari... Zero Zero asks, uh, do you plan on... Do you plan on doing any other scary games in the near future, like Hotel 66. You know, before I sat in the room and, and played that slender game for a little while with Aaron, I didn't think I'd be into the whole scary game thing, but I don't know, the atmosphere, it, I mean, when Aaron left the room and I was all quiet and I was going through the woods and shit, it was all like, hmm, this is, uh, this is, this is kind of, uh, it, it, what's that word, it builds suspense and all that shit. I tell you what, I would never really, I don't think I'd be scared if something was chasing me. Like, if it's behind me, that's the point where it becomes a game, you know, where nothing's going to scare me. Um, but when it's all quiet and shit, and then you get the scare, that will scare me. That will, because it's a, it's a shock. It's, it's a pop scare. Uh, and those, those, I like that kind of thing. That's why Slender actually appeals to me a lot more than the other ones. But I, I'm sure there'll be lots that'll scare me. So I, I think I might do them. Um... What age did you and Aaron meet? Uh, and are you going to get Yami a girl for his birthday? Um, I think Aaron was 13 and I was 17. Um, I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! actually with um, my little brother and his friends. They were a couple of years younger than me. And we used to play at the library. And um, this little kid comes in and wants to play with us. He, he was a friend of my little brother's. And his name was Aaron. And um, when we decided to travel the country, which was maybe a couple of years later. No, it was about a year later. He was probably 14. Um, when we did that, he wanted to come with us. Uh, it took us a while to get his mom to say yes. But um, I was in charge of taking care of him, you know, making sure nothing happened to him because I was the oldest. And, you know, blah, blah, blah. The rest is history. Uh, my favorite wrestler is Stone Cold Steve Austin. Who's your favorite? Kurt Angle. Uh, <laughs> no, I could actually talk about that forever, but I'm not going to. Um, you play the Final Fantasy series, but did you ever play the MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV or Final Fantasy XI? I didn't, but I knew someone who did. 
and I watched it and it didn't look that fun. I mean, if you're going to do an MMO, you either play WoW or... I don't know, I used to play Ragnarok Online a lot, and that was fun, but there wasn't enough people in it. I mean, it's, it's just if you're not going to play a massively multiplayer off online game, you know, it's got to be massive. It's got to be massive. The Final Fantasy ones were just way too small. They didn't have enough people. Um, not like, wow. It's a shame, really, because, I mean, it could have been good. Um, Miner's Armory asks, have you ever played a Halo game? Yes. I killed my, my uh, teammates and got us chucked out. And, um, yeah, the people I was playing with didn't like it. I was just trolling. I mean, and are you going to get Halo 4? Probably not. Um... Gerard S. Muy Bueno asks, have you had your first kiss? Dude, I'm 25 years old. If I hadn't had my first kiss, I'd be in trouble. No, um, my first kiss was like 15, and I, I considered myself a late bloomer when it came to girls. But since then, since I was 15, I just never had a problem getting girls. I mean, I'm the exact opposite to Aaron. It's like, um, we went to, we went to Blackpool and, uh, you know, it's the uh, beginning of the night, we've all got a drink, we're in this bar, and, um, you know, we've, we've been talking to Aaron about how to get chicks. And, um, I'm talking, <laughs> I'm telling stories now. Uh, <laughs> and, just standing there, sipping my drink, I check this girl up, and uh, she looks good, she looks really good. And I say to Aaron, I just whisper to her, I say, Aaron, and I nod towards the direction of the girl, and I say, that's my kind of girl. And I turn away, start drinking, talking to my mate, get a tap on my shoulder from Aaron. I turn around, and I'm like, what? And Aaron's like, he's pointing over there. And the woman's like, <laughs> calling me over, and I'm fucking sitting there with like her and her friends and shit. And Aaron's just like, I, I didn't know what was going on. I, I look back at Aaron, and he's like, <laughs> yeah, that was actually pretty good. But she had a really bad accent and really bad breath. So, and it was the beginning of the night and I didn't want to leave ever. I mean, if I go with her, I mean, I have to leave for the entire night and, you know, honestly, you know, sex isn't that good. <laughs> honestly, it's just like, you know, everyone's all like, oh, you want to get in there and all that shit. And it's just like, you know, I just, I've had enough in my lifetime. I don't need it. So, you know, bad breath, which, you know, can be dealt with if you, if, I don't know, how do you deal with it? You can just, you, you can get around it. Because she was good looking. Her accent, which was a problem, I wouldn't want to hear. <laughs> God, what am I, why am I talking about this so oh, in detail? <laughs> oh my God, I love this. I love just talking about stuff. Um, but yeah, I've had my first kiss. I've had enough sex to last a fucking lifetime. And hopefully I can get Aaron a girl. In fact, I think he's got one. I think some chick's talking to him. But I'm not going to give too much away from that. Um, Mr. Queenak asks, Do you do YouTube for a job like Yummy? Uh, no. Or do you have a different job? I don't have a job. Um, I'm a student at the moment. Or, you know, I am finished my first year. Um, pretty much had to do my high school stuff again. Just because I didn't get it done when I was younger. Because I was pretty damn ill when I was young. Um, so I left school without anything so this last year I've had to go back and do it and that was really tough going back and doing that it not only was going back to a um, you know a place where you can learn um, it was hard doing that and on top of it it was I'm a pretty damn smart guy you know I fucking I studied a lot just in my own time just because I want to um, and being there with a lot of people who, you know, just just aren't on my level, I guess. I mean, I'm not saying, you know, I was a fucking genius or something. But being there and having people know that I was there, that I hadn't, you know, that I haven't got a high school education, was, oh, it was demoralizing. It made me feel, like, lower than everyone else. In fact, the fact that I haven't even got A-levels, you know, I'm, I'm two years away from that, um makes me feel horrible it does I mean I wanted to go to I don't want to go to uni to um, get a job I, I honestly as soon as I'm there I'm just like there we go I'm on even playing field with everyone else and it's just like 
it's a silly thing, but I just want, you know, the respect of my family, and I want the respect of my parents. Um, and, you know, it's, it's hard getting there. Just, just because of the amount of time it takes. It's... Ugh. Ugh. It's ugly. Um, doo -doo -doo. How old are you and how tall are you? I am 25 years old, which is really, really, really old. I fucking hate it. <laughs> um, and I am 5 foot 11 and a half, according to my uh, thing from the gym, which like measures your height and your weight. Um, <laughs> NFS Bounty Hunter, that's what you prefer, boobs or pussy? Both. Uh, <laughs> mm, boobs, I guess. I guess just because they're a little less vulgar. <laughs> I don't know, I like both. Uh, Brock Lesnar to win or Triple H? Who do I want to win or who do I think will win? I want Brock Lesnar to win. I have a fucking horrible, 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 horrible feeling that Triple H is going to win. <laughs> uh, the Street Viper asks, are you willing to join a YouTube network? What the fuck is a YouTube network? I have no... Is that like Team Chaos or something? Or I need some Luke's aid. I... I just... I don't know what that is. I... I don't know. <laughs> How long have you known Aaron for? Probably since 2004-ish. So, eight years. Seven, eight years. Um, uh, Callum Xbox Live. What is yours and Aaron's favourite food? And hi, Shane. It's Callum. Alright, Callum! Um, uh, at the moment, I think... I mean, our favourite food, I mean... That's weird to say that, but me and Aaron have both, like, agreed that enchiladas are fucking gorgeous. <laughs> uh, yeah. Tyrant Lahal 3265. I know who that is. That's Phil, isn't it? Uh, who would win between Johnny, you, Johnny, or Andy? Johnny and Andy are my big and little brother. Um, well, Johnny got really fat. And Andy probably hasn't been in a fight in his life, so I'd probably say me. It depends on if they, um... If they ganged up. <laughs> but I, I just... <laughs> that's a funny question. Um, uh, tell everyone the story about Dan Nelson and STP. I'm not telling that story. Oh, Stuart. Stu Big Stu. Everyone go to his channel and, um, and like, spam him. <laughs> no, that's... Uh, back in the day, Aaron got the brunt of many practical jokes. He he was the little kid who hung around, and he got he got massacred. Not not in a horrible way, you know, like bullying and beating up and shit. But people picked on him, and it was just what everyone did. And I'm not gonna tell that story, but all I'm gonna say is Aaron got the brunt of a lot of jokes. <laughs> um, all right. Would you rather skydive off the Empire State Building or swim in the Arctic Ocean for two days with food and water? Um, so, let me get this straight. One thing that would be really cool, skydiving off the Empire State Building, or something that would be really cold, really harsh, and would take two days, as opposed to the other one that takes, like, two minutes. I'd take the skydiving. Skydive. Um, Mr. Seduction HD. Uh, do you like the Resident Evil series? Yeah, I like Resident Evil 2. I haven't played any others, I guess. But Resident Evil 2 was the shit. I played. I used to be able to do that in three hours. Uh, from start to finish, get the bazooka. Um, what's the best moment you've shared with Yami Mash? Holy shit! You know, it's just those years that we spent traveling. I think. Not that the stuff that we've, you know, been doing lately and shit isn't cool, but just thinking back to uh, the the early morning running for the train and getting out of breath and, and it being freezing cold and your lungs are on fire and you sit down on that train and you're thinking, we've got two more trains to go, it's going to take two hours to get to a local Yu-Gi-Oh tournament where maybe 40 people are going, that's a, sh a push, so that we could go there, play... And then afterwards, we'll go for a curry with the guys, or we'll go fucking, we'll go to the cinema or something like that. It was just, and then you know, after that, you'd, you'd be fucking dead. You'd be dead because the whole day you're on your feet, uh, and you know you have your fun. And then it's coming to like ten o'clock, and you're just like, 
I want to go home. And you're waiting at the train station for an hour for the train, and you get on the train, it's the shit train, and it just smells like crap, and you're sitting there, and you've, you, you've spent a lot of money, you spent a lot of time, but it's just to do the one thing you love with your friends. And it, it was great back then. It was amazing. I mean, we had times when we just fucking went to huge tournaments, when we travelled, like, uh, 200 miles or something on a train, you know, really far away from home, place we didn't know. Um, it's just great. I mean, we spent a lot of good times together during those times. So it was great. I mean, fuck, we've we've spent nights just like where we haven't been able to get home, just like sleeping in a train station together. It's just like you know, it's just stuff you do. Fuck, I've spent so many nights in train stations. It's horrible. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, will you ever do a walkthrough or let's play of a Zelda game? I want to do Majora's Mask and I want to do Link to the Past. I think Link to the Past has been overdone though. Uh, but I love Majora's Mask. It's one of my favourite games of all time. It's just so much fun going back in time, forward in time, and grabbing the masks and shit. Okay. Uh, when are you going to make another Cooking with the Yami Mash episode? <laughs> did it last night. Um, love my respawn. Asked, what was it that attracted you to the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG over the Pokemon TCG? And that's a really funny thing you said, though, because I played the Pokemon... I tried to play the Pokemon TCG when I was a kid. Like, 13, 14, everyone collected, no one played. I was like... You know, I was so into the, the game. I, I used to sit at home with the cards and thinking, this would be a really good deck. And I had this guide that told you how to make a, a, a Pokemon deck and how to play. And I could only play with, like, two people. It was horrible, because they had the same decks, pretty much. And they were always shit, and they always took them apart. So, it was, you know, I couldn't get in there. So I wanted to play the Pokemon TCG. And then, when I got into Yu-Gi-Oh!, I was probably 15, 16, 17 years old. Um, it was... Like, a few of us playing, and on top of that, we found a place we could play. It was a tournament. I mean, it was, the first time we went to was maybe 30 people, but it was, like, so insanely, you know, something I'd wanted for years, you know, to be able to play a TCG somewhere because of the Pokemon one. I just couldn't do it. No one was around. I was a kid, you know, all that shit. Um, so, I guess that's what attracted me, the fact that I couldn't play Pokemon. I played Yu-Gi-Oh, and I got really deep into that. Played for years and years. Um, and Puzzled Gunner asks, "What was, what is the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you?" Whew. I got beat up by a girl. That was horrible, man. I got beat up by a girl when I was 13, 14 years old. That was. Oh, that doesn't feel good. That feels really bad. You can't show your face for a long time. But um, yeah, it wasn't very nice. Um, all right, that is the lot. Alright, I've talked for a while, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I actually enjoy talking. I don't know how long I've talked for. <laughs> oh, God. I hope you just put up with me. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Leave any questions, comments, whatever in the comments section below. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.